Up next is Michael Allen. He's the Member Engagement Manager at AIM. He serves in this role. Mr. Allen serves AIM by running the organization's social media and e-learning webinars and podcasts. He helps with recruitment and retention initiatives for the industry association, as well as running AIM industry group meetings for industry experts in RFID, IoT, technical symbologies, and track and trace. Michael, it's all yours. Thank you, Sheldon, so much. Appreciate it. So let me You're make welcome. sure my Okay, uh, like Sheldon said, this is Mike Allen from AIM and welcome to Benefits of Automatic Data Capture Technologies in the Supply Chain. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> a little bit about my um, role with AIM. I just want to tell you a little bit about the organization. Uh, we're an unbiased resource for networking, education, advocacy, and standards. AIM helps the industry grow by creating partnership to globalize AIDC industry success. A little bit about my role with AIM. I am the member engagement manager, as Sheldon said. So in my role, I typically would attend trade shows, which some of you may remember. At these, I would help coordinate educational efforts of our membership at the shows, as well as set up collaborative opportunities for membership to network. I also help coordinate industry group meetings, which help build the standards and edu educational tools necessary for those interested to effectively utilize AIDC technologies. Those groups uh, are Track and Trace, RFID, Technical Symbologies, and the Internet of Things. I also help produce webinars and podcasts that once again help explain the role of AIDC and its importance to our everyday world. Now, I myself am not an industry expert per se, but it's our members who drive AIM and really do the heavy lifting of our educational and standardization efforts. Members like Cybra, who have done several phenomenal educational web webinars, like one on artificial intelligence, RFID and big data, as well as one on loan worker safety. We thank Cybra for their participation in those endeavors. What I can tell you about is what exactly is AIDC? Well, it stands for Automatic Identification and Data Capture. AIDC are the methods of automatically identifying objects, collecting data about them, and entering them directly into systems without human involvement. These tools like RFID, barcode sensors, real-time location systems, and so on, reduce human error in inventory control, reduce manpower hours, spent on data entry, create identities for items and histories, and enable specific item tracking throughout supply chain and operational uses worldwide. The next slide just shows you some examples of some of these technologies. I want to reiterate these are just some of the many, many AIDC technologies. Right at the top, you see the 1D barcode, which is a technology that uses the pattern of reflective light to convey data. Below are some early 2D or stack barcodes, which were a logical extension of the linear barcode. They're essentially no more than a series of linear codes simply layered or stacked on top of each other. Their great advantage was the ability to encode much greater amounts of data in a single symbol. To the right, we have passive and active RFID tags. Learning the fundamentals of RFID can be overwhelming, but by understanding a few basics, the RFID ecosystem is easier to understand First off, not all RFID systems are the same. There are active and passive RFID systems. The primary difference between passive and active RFID tags is that active tags are powered by a battery and automatically broadcast their signal, whereas passive tags do not have a power source and only transmit a signal upon receiving RF energy emitted from a reader in proximity of the tag. Once again, AIM's an industry resource and we have white papers and other educational materials that go into greater detail about these technologies, how they work, and what you need to consider to successfully implement them into the supply chain. The supply chain covers a wide variety of markets, and of course, that means AIDC does as well. This just shows some of the markets we serve. For a moment though, let me focus on food as that is in recent weeks has become a very hot topic. Per the USDA in the United States, production and transport of food from farm to table accounts for 50% of land use, 10% of total energy consumption, and 80% of all fresh water used. Despite these inputs, only 60% of the food produced in the US is actually eaten, 
with 52% of fruits and vegetables thrown out. This equates to $165 billion of food waste each year, with one in eight Americans lacking proper food security and one out of four calories produced never eaten it is vital to increase the efficiency of food systems at all steps of the production chain. Supporting a visible supply chain through AIDC will assist in meeting the United States 2030 food loss and waste reduction goals to reduce food loss and waste by 50%. I also want to talk real quick about the pharmaceutical industry as well, as once again, that's another very hot topic. The benefits of barcodes in quickly and accurately identifying yeah. crucial information, yeah. prescribed medication, to help those throughout the supply chain that's ensure that, that the drug that's is valid and the exact location can be tracked. Oh, that was the, in the event of a recall, thing. this information will help provide a thorough and fast removal of suspect drugs before they are administered to a patient. Also note that in all these sectors, AIDC technology improves detection and removal of potentially dangerous counterfeit products from the supply chain. Going along with that, here are some examples of the industry sectors we are in and some of the AIDC technologies that help advance their processes. Once again, AIM's a resource, so on our website, www.aimglobal.org, you can find specific white papers, case studies, web tell the work of AIDC in each of these sectors. So this slide shows you a supply chain whether it's with barcodes or a transponder of some kind, AIDC solutions are there from the start with suppliers through the warehouse and out to the consumers. So I'll break that down for you a little bit more. So for instance, let's say sanitizer, a very hot commodity these days. Inventory tracking can provide details from the raw material sourcing, like the alcohol content in the bottle or gels and oils used in it, to the finished bottle and throughout the entire supply chain. Everything that might need to be known about the product can be monitored. This includes warehousing and enabling the ability to have an absolute source of truth. Cold chain sensor data can ensure that products do not rise above required temperatures. Fleet management IoT solutions can be used to provide analytics on driver behavior, maintenance needs, and fuel efficiency. At the store, machine vision can capture on-shelf availability for restocking, be used to note which products were picked up, not purchased and identify quality issues with products or in-store cleanliness, which once again in today's day and age is highly critical. Knowing exactly which locations has which products aids substantially in supporting real-time fulfillment. Beacons on shelves can engage customers with promotions. Digital signs and smart shelves can automatically adjust as needed. Implement cashless checkout, still offering a positive customer experience is a major benefit of IoT that can be accomplished through using multiple methods based on the environment and unique needs. Post sale perks include proper item tracking that can reduce returns and costs associated with them. Production can send usage reports, error logs, and other data back to aid in research and development and predict failures that can be prevented by a software update or other preemptive maintenance. Throughout the entire journey, data points are being collected that can be used to create a continuous cycle of improvements. Sensors tracking movement can further optimize in-store layout. Consumer engagement touch points in store, online, and via mobile can be brought together for an enhanced experience and micro-targeting. Combine all the data collected with sales data, trend reports, machine learning, and predictive analytics will be able to advise what products to develop or stock next and what else may be on the horizon. So as you can see, any supply chain, the wealth of resources acquired by using AIDC technologies is almost unreal. Are you okay? Yep, it's my slides not moving. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I'm, I'm muting my. Thank you, Sheldon. Sorry about that, guys.
So for as a recap, you can see that many technologies that I brought up, AIDC is a huge topic encompassing many technologies and used in thousands upon thousands of different applications. AIDC is never an end in itself, but a means to an end. And as you heard with the sanitizer example, the IoT can make consumers and business more connected and productive. I also wanted everyone to note that all the technologies require some form of reader and or writer and some form of interpretation. Barcodes need printers, readers, handhelds, or permanent fixtures. RFID needs more electronics, including software level to unscramble messages. Feature systems require cameras or other sensors. All require IT systems to both provide them with data and to accept the received data and sensibly process it into meaningful information. So just have enough. You need the IT and knowledge to go with it for it to truly be successful in the supply chain. The topics and technologies I discussed today is not anywhere near being comprehensive. There are simply too many options and too many ways to implement AID. Implementing AIDC, they must use the right technology and realize that implementation can be problematic if you're not aware of everything. But at AIM, we have the resources and members that can help with understanding this whole world. Not only does AIM help with educating, but we also are critical in the process of standardizing these technologies. AIM serves as the Secretariat for the U.S. Technical Advisory Group, otherwise known as TAG. ISO IEC JTC1 SC31 is the automatic identification and data capture techniques. This group formulates the U.S. position on all work related to the standardization of data formats, data syntax, data structures, data encoding, and technologies for the process of automatic identification and data capture and of associated devices utilized in inter-industry applications and international business interchanges and for mobile applications. Once again, I suggest going to amglobal.org and checking out our website. We have a plethora of information and our members are more than willing to speak and help with educating on AIDC technologies. In terms of, I'll direct you to a few items that may be of interest. This is a white paper that our RFID experts group wrote on how RFID maximizes last mile delivery infrastructure. It deals with the inventory accuracy, asset visibility, as well as the achievement of real-time data accuracy which helps grow revenue and increase customer loyalty. This is free to download in the AIM store. This white paper goes into greater detail of the hand sanitizer example I gave earlier. It basically explains how it was free in the AIM store. The next piece is not yet complete. It deals with the recent global crisis and how AIDC can help remake the supply chain in this almost new world we will be in. Just for a moment, I want to talk more about this because this is of significant interest. As per a March survey conducted by the Institute for Supply Chain Management, nearly 75% of companies reported supply chain disruptions in one form or the other due to the coronavirus-related transportation restrictions, and the figure is expected to rise further over the next few weeks. Other Included the lack of any semblance of a contingency plan for almost half the companies in case of a supply chain disruption leading back to China. Companies also reported experiencing sudden unexpected delays in receiving orders, a problem compounded by supply chain information blackouts. Based on lessons that are being reinforced and validated in this current global crisis, there are several ways in which businesses can go about creating resilient supply chains in the post-COVID world. For one, there's an urgent need to reduce dependency on physical labor across transportation, logistics, and warehousing. This can be enabled through AIDC technologies like the Internet of Things, blockchain, control towers, artificial intelligence, machine learning enabled demand forecasting, rule-based and self-adjusting stock allocations, autonomous devices such as drones, among others. So for everyone here today, be very aware that AIDC is in the continue to grow and make the supply chain better. So I wanted to thank you for your time today. 
If you'd like to contact me to learn more about AIM and our initiatives, you can reach out to me at mike at aimglobal.org or find out www.aimglobal.org. I hope to see many of you soon at those good old trade shows and other supply chain relevant events.